Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. In this video, I'm going to share the layouts and projects I created in September 2024. I created 23 pages, two mini albums, and 12 cards with the material I shared on YouTube at the beginning of the month. There were two kit share videos and they will be listed and linked below. Layout process videos will also be listed and linked below. And at the end of this video, there will be still shots. So you will get a second look at all of these pages. So without further ado, let's get started. The first four pages I created with 49 in Markets Color Swatch Willow Collection. So I created this page as a single page layout. Pretty simple. I used the background paper as is from 49 in Market created some layers with paper and vellum from my stash, and then added a title and two embellishment clusters. For the page two, that's a design I frequently use. I simply fill it up with photos. Along the border there, I added some more layers and a bit of embellishing along with my journaling. So that basically created a third area with embellishing, creating a visual triangle with the two on the original page. Now the next two pages as well, I created with 49 and Market's Color Swatch Willow Collection. So once again, I created the page that you see on the right first, and then I created the double page to go with it. I'm just showing you the original page. I use the same approach, a 49 and Market background paper, a bunch of papers and a bit of vellum and including my journaling there underneath the photo. I have one fairly large photo, a title, and basically two embellishment clusters. I'm kind of pointing out the rub-ons. Now, when I bought this collection, I bought the paper pack. I bought a six by eight paper pack, which I really got a lot of use out of. I bought some laser cut elements, the foliage that I loved, but I also bought the rub-ons. I love 49 in market rub-ons. They're beautiful. They work well, but I tend not to use them. I find that the texture already offered in 49 in markets papers offer enough and I really don't need the rub on. So I think in the future what I'm going to do is kind of buy more of the laser cuts which I tend to use and less of the rub ons. Now I'm changing collections. The next 10 pages I created with Stampin' Up! material. And the first six, I created them with the Let's Go Fishing paper pack and the Gone Fishing Suite. This one, I did it on YouTube, so it is listed and linked below. It's actually video one in what I hope will be a monthly series featuring Stampin' Up! products. I just showed you a Stampin' die set. That was in my kit at the beginning of the month called Gone Fishing. That's how I made that really cool tackle box. So basically the dies cut out the tackle box and the stamps and dies cut out all of that tackle. I also showed you that for one of the photos, I created a little flip. There's a tutorial on my channel where I explain how I do that. It's just a way for me to store extra photos. They're basically hidden under a page protector, but it's better there than in a box. All the important photos are visible. Now here are two more pages that I created with that Let's Go Fishing and Gone Fishing Suite. So once again, the page on the right is my focal point page. So I definitely did this one first. A large photo, lots of layers of paper. I have a shelf underneath with my title and a few embellishment clusters. And again, I'm still using that Gone Fishing sweet there. I absolutely loved it. This time for the tackle box, I incorporated it right in the grid and I put my journaling on top of it. So I had a lot of fun. That material, the paper and tools have been my stash for quite some time and I'm really happy to have finally dug into it. I also showed you there's another photo flap there as well where there are extra photos. Now the next two pages I created it as a double page spread. I will say it's the Gone Fishing Suites or the Let's Go Fishing Paper I think it's called. But this one I incorporated three different paper collections. That wood grain paper is from another Stampin' Up! collection called Country Woods and the green that I'm pointing out is actually from that 49 and Market color swatch willow collection. Now I also added some embellishments from 49 and Market. You can see some little wordy bits there and the labels where I did my journaling. 
And the trees there, I created those with stamps and dies that I put in my kit at the beginning of the month. It's actually a Christmas product in the September, December 2024 Stampin' Up! catalog. I bought it knowing that I would probably use it more for hiking than for Christmas. I often look at Christmas tools for trees and stuff like that for that very reason. The bears that you see there are from a really old stamp and die set from Stampin' Up! called Bear Hugs. It was a Mother's Day kit many, many years ago. Now I'm showing you two more pages. This is Stampin' Up! products, but it's all made with paper from the Country Woods collection. That is a current paper pack in the catalog and I absolutely love it. This is the page I started with, so it's my focal point page, and I'm pointing out this paper. It looks like several different papers, but it's one paper, and what I did was I simply cut the little bands of wood and kind of separated them. It made for a fun effect. I did the same thing for the border that you see on the left-hand page. For the embellishments, I used this kit here. It's called Seaside Wishes. Again, it is a current product in the Stampin' Up! catalog. There are stamps, dies, and an embossing folder. Now I'm going to try to show you these embellishments up close. They're absolutely beautiful. Those sand dollars there have kind of an embossed topping on it. Absolutely beautiful. I even made my title with that stamp set. So that was fun. I have two more pages that I created using Stampin' Up! products. This one here, a Christmas collection. So the paper is from a collection called Season of Elegance. Again, it's in the September, December 2024 catalog. I showed it to you at the beginning of the month. And for the embellishments, I used a stamp and die set. I think I just used the dies on this one. It's called Reindeer Fun. Super fun. So that circle that you see with the branches, that is created with the dies as are those really adorable reindeer there. I am showing you the stamp and die set. Basically that circle I'm pointing out, you can't see it on the stamps, it's just a die. And the same thing for those reindeer that I use, but I absolutely love those little reindeer. Super, super cute. Now I did create some cards with Stampin' Up! material as well. So I'm gonna show you those. In that very same mini catalog from September to December, there was a section called Mix and Match for creating super quick and easy projects. So I basically had a pack of paper there. It was paper with punch out embellishments. It was called A Little Bit Festive. And I also bought a set of gold dipped cards and envelopes. So that's basically what I used here. Really quick and simple, not great works of art. I am not a card maker, but it was really fun to just sit down and do something kind of mindless without thinking. And now I have 12 cards made for Christmas at this point. So you can see for some of them, I used those gold dipped cards and for other ones, I created my own card bases. I'm just showing you what the envelopes look like as well. They are absolutely beautiful. I bought one pack and then when I saw them I actually bought another pack. I think each pack had nine cards and envelopes. Now I'm changing collections completely. This is the Mercy Tierra Kit Smile Collection. So this included material from Chamel's Reasons to Smile collection along with the Paige Evans Adventurous collection. So it's very bright and colorful. And what I did was I created nine pages and two mini albums. So this one here, I did it on YouTube as a single page layout. And in that video, I spoke about using big, bold pattern prints and what to do if you're intimidated by it. So you can see I created a grid and that video is listed and linked below. For the coordinating page, all I did was basically wallpaper a piece of paper. You can see that camera print along with the text print and floral. And then I created a four block grid on top of it. And there's also a little photo flip there as well with extra photos inside. So again, the video for the page on the right is listed and linked below. The next two pages, again, with that smile kit. So the pages I just showed you, most of what was there was 
from the Chanel section of the Smile Kit. The same thing here, but I did incorporate a bit of the Paige Evans Adventures collection as well. So this one here, I created it as a single page layout. Now the colors don't necessarily match my photos, which aren't that good, but they do match the mood and feel. It's really kind of a fun layout. So the paper really reflects that fun mood. This is a story about a scrapbooking prop in Truro, Nova Scotia, hosted by the Gadget Girls. You can see that the coordinating page, I simply created a small four block grid. So the next one is just a single page layout. I did it on YouTube. That background paper is very, very different for me. It's a cut file that can lay on top of a rainbow print paper. Very much something that I typically wouldn't use, but I really wanted to use it. It looked so much fun. So basically I put a photo on a bunch of layers of vellum, created two embellishment clusters, and those are mostly made up of embellishments from Paige Evans, and I did slip some hidden journaling behind the photo. Here again, two more pages created with the Smile Kit for Mercy Tierra Kits. Again, another grid. This one, most of the material is from the Paige Evans Adventurous Collection. So I created a grid just like what I showed you not long ago, except it is a little bit different. The photos are a different orientation. I made them crooked instead of straight. And I will show you the two side by side in a moment. For the coordinating page, I simply created a row of photos, one title, and an embellishment cluster. So I'm just digging out that grid again. So you can see it's the very same page design, but the photos are different, and I treated them differently, and the pages do look different. But in both cases, really bright paper, and I find it a great way to use really bright papers just by cutting it up if you find it intimidating. Now I have two more pages that I created with the Adventurous Kit. I'm sorry, with the Smile Kit, but this one is focusing mostly on material from the Paige Evans Adventurous part of the Smile Kit. Now I did this one on YouTube and if it looks different to you, it is different. I'm gonna show you in a minute the photo in the top left corner. That's what I created on YouTube. The paper, in the border at the bottom, for some reason bothered me after the video. It felt like it was taking up too much attention. So what I ended up doing is switching up that border at the bottom again with a paper that was in the kit, but much less patterned. And I prefer it that way. My photos seem to be more in evidence. That just happens sometimes. It was a really easy, quick fix, but I did want to show you the original as well. And then design hasn't changed. So you can watch the video and the design is identical. Now I'm showing you two little traveler notebooks I made with leftovers. Now in the Smile Kit for Mercy TR Kits, there were these giant pom-poms, a yard of it. And I didn't know what to do with them. So I decided to make two mini albums with some leftovers. Now a lot of it are leftovers from this smile kit, but I do have some leftovers from my stash, including some past Mercy Tierra kits. So you can see I have the pages in all different sizes and I'm showing you on the last page, I actually sewed those pom-poms to the page. And at the very back, I kind of covered up my stitching with just a similar piece of paper. So I'm just going through the two. I am going to fill these up with photos and give them for gifts. But those were really quick and easy projects. And fun, fun, fun to create. So this is it. Here are the still shots. Now, while sharing the photos, I just want to take a moment to thank Janet Madison from RTS Scrapbooking, who recently retired for so many years of dedication and generosity. She has been an absolute pillar in the online scrapbooking community for so many years and she's been sharing talent, wisdom and above all her huge kind heart. To say she was prolific is an absolute understatement. I can't even imagine the hours she put into creating her content. She certainly left a legacy and you can still find her work on YouTube and on Patreon at 
RTS scrapbooking. So thank you, Janet. I wish you all the best. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Scrapbooking Quebec, I would be honored and thrilled if you did. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Have a great day and I will see you soon on YouTube. Bye-bye.